Of course our base is under attack. Why wouldn't it be right now? This is the perfect time for our base to be under attack. Yes, it's exactly what I've come to expect of subsistence. This game knocks you down, it kicks you in the nuts, it cuts you open and pours a whole bag of rock salt right in the wound. Welcome back, my friends, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, take a look at this. It is the last day of the year. So, not counting what might happen today, we've died 15 times and gone through 60 uh, in-game days for an entire year. Um, being as how, this is my first time, you know, playing this game when we started this series. Uh, I think 15 deaths isn't too bad, really. I don't know. What what do you guys think? Um, when you went through your first year uh, of the game, how many times did you guys die? Let me know in the comments. I'd be curious. But, um, yeah, I'm not I, I, I'm not uh, ashamed of that number with how hard this damn game is, man. Uh, but I'm really loving the game. Uh, I had mentioned in, the I think, the last episode that I was thinking about um, ending this season and starting a season two. And I got to thinking about it and I, I think we're going to keep going with this season for, for, for a little bit longer. Um, indefinitely we'll say, um, I, I'm not super happy with our location, but I got to thinking about some things that I might be able to do, um, to improve the situation, I guess is the word. And, uh, so I want to, you know, I, I want to see if we can get into end game such as it is, um, with this season before we wrap it up and, and start a season two. And yes, I am definitely going to start a season two because this game is just, uh, I've just enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, so anyway, I just want to show that to you. Uh, that's where we are. So let's jump on in to our last day of the first year. Uh, I also want you guys to know that it is my plan. Once this day is over, uh, we're going to edit this and I'm going to increase the, the days per year. Um, I'm thinking maybe 80. Um, that would give us 10 or no, if we increased it to 80, cause right now we have five, um, per year. So f I can't do the math in the top of my head. So maybe, maybe 80 or 90, uh, maybe 90. Yeah. Let's increase it to 90. That gives us a few more days in each month. It's going to suck in the winter, but on the other hand, you know, winter time is not that bad if you are prepared for it and we will definitely be should be much better pre prepared for the second year uh, for winter time uh, if we take this season that far, which I'm not promising we will. We'll just have to see how things go. Uh, but anyway, I just want to let you guys know that I am planning on adjusting this. Uh, we'll say 90 days after the end of today, because we're going to finish out the end of today because it is the last day of the year. Okay. So anyway, um, I will see you guys in game and we'll have some fun. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, so far it's been a pretty uneventful morning. Uh, it's been snowing all morning, but it's not, not too, too terribly cold. Uh, definitely we can handle it. Uh, my pick is about ready to break. I'm really going to try to, uh, moving forward, you know, put that, those things in the mass recycler and not break them all the way. Cause you know, we lose them otherwise. Uh, I did see a deer down this way earlier. And I tried to circle around to get the high ground, but then it disappeared. Well, let's go back down and take another look-see. Um, see, because it might have gone in the direction that I came from. I'm pretty sure I didn't spook it because I was far enough away, but who knows. Uh, that's a level two. Let's leave him alone. And... Uh, We'll come around this way. He was kind of like right up in this area here, and I was down lower. So let's get out on the top of this cliff here and see if we can spot him. Because I actually haven't killed a deer yet in this series. We've killed a few mountain lions, but no deer. Uh, if we look at the profile stats here, um, and we go to hunting, we've killed, we've killed four cougars, seven boar, 
Two bears, 70 wolf, 89 rabbits, 97 chickens. Um, seven white wolves. We've caught seven small fish, 22 perch. No salmon yet. Um, two catfish and six pike and three largemouth bass. And this is all the stuff we've looted here. That's kind of cool that it has those stats. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know where that deer is. Looks like it's starting to blizzard a bit, too. So we should head back to the base. I've got some meat that I've been carrying around for a little while anyway, so we need to get in the fridge. So, yeah, let's start working our way back to the base. Um, I don't want to have a repeat of yesterday's situation. Uh, here, growling, just don't see it. All right. I think I already hit that tree anyways. Oh, uh, here we go. Let's watch out for that white wolf. Let's watch out for that Geralt of Rivia. Okay. A little more ammo for the pistola. Oh, shit! I'd, oh, <laughs> shit, we bled out. Oh, no. All right, 16 deaths for the first year, you guys. <coughs> Son of a beeswax. All right, um, right, let's redo that. Priority number one. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Oh, well, we killed the wolf. Um, Hopefully we didn't lose any weapons. I haven't really lost any weapons yet in this game from dying. N not that I can think of anyways. So maybe you don't lose your weapons. Maybe you just lose some of your other stuff. I don't know. Ah, that sucks, man. That really sucks. I thought we were far enough away from him. I gotta tell you, man, I, I hate those white wolves. I really do not like those bastards. Mostly because, you know, they're hard to see and they're actually a little tougher than the normal wolves, even at the same level. I think a normal level 1 wolf is 80 some odd hit points, and the white wolves are like 105 or something. Okay. Yeah, he, he bled us out there. Okay, we gotta hurry. I am... Honestly, though, ready for winter to be over. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm ready for it to be over. All right, let's put that down there. Put that there. Everything back in its place. No way! You gotta be kidding me! This game is so brutal, you guys. It is so brutal. fair it's not fair of course our base is under attack why wouldn't it be right now this is the perfect time for our base to be under attack yes it's exactly what I've come to expect of subsistence this game knocks you down it kicks you in the nuts it cuts you open and pours a whole bag of rock salt right in the wound. Mother. And I'm out of stamina. I don't even know where that wolf is that killed us. All right, let's redo our stuff here. Uh, tear that into rags. We need to watch our health. I want to go uh, get that. Where's my bow? 
I want to go get that uh, wolf, the white wolf, the original one. Um, yeah, we lost ammo. That is... That's so painful. This game is so punishing when you die, man. It's just brutally punishing. Alright, let's see. That's a level 1 white wolf, because it's 105. Um, just like to find the carcass of the other one. We went to all that trouble, so we need to take something back. It's right around in here, wasn't it? Uh, you know what? I wonder if it disappeared. Yeah, I can't. I can't see a damn thing. There's two other wolves nearby. We better just get. We better get getting. Um, I don't have a heat pack on me. We're gonna have to take this. Sucks, but we don't have a choice. Because I was just about out of stamina. I don't think I would have made it back otherwise. That's just a moose. Whatever attacking these guys did, it looks like they're finished with their dastardly deed. Yeah, we got so. Oh, what? I left the damn door open again. All right, so this panel, of course, that's really all that it looks like they hit. Okay, I'm down with that. Yeah, I gotta remember not to leave the door open. I really shouldn't have this stuff in front of the door either, but. I've mentioned many times now, this is all just temporary. I am planning on making things neater in here, but it might not be a bad idea to do that right now, so it's not in front of the door. Oh, man. Okay, we really, we did reset that, right? Yeah, okay. Well, not exactly how I wanted to spend the rest of our final day of the year. We lost a lot of ammo out of that deal and whatever else we lost. And yeah, it sucks. It really does. I'm not going to lie, you guys. That really, really sucks. All we can do is move on, though, right? All we can do is move on. Make the best of a bad situation. And that's what we shall do. Okay, let's put this in here. And we'll put this in here. Uh, the fat. We got a little bit of fat. Let's put that in there. We'll eat the rose hip. I'm trying to build up my power so we can get the lever action rifle, but, you know, we just lost 700 power in total because I had to redo that twice. Ugh, it's frustrating. Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. Okay. It's a damn good thing I love this game, even though sometimes it pisses me off like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's restock these guys. Put the bandage down there. The three of you can go in there. We'll put the blueberry in the fridge. Uh, that can go in there, and that can go in there. Okay. I think we're... Back. Oh, we want to stick this in the mass thingamadoodle. Um, Alright, so that gives us 12 more mass. We need to build up for the lever action 210 mass in total. Uh, and 2,100 or 2,100 uh, power. So, we can't keep dying like this, man. Or that's going to put a quick end to us getting the power that we need. All right, let's throw you in there. 
Get you started back up. All right, let's let's while we're just kind of piddly farting around. And, oh, I guess the first thing we got to do is repair that wall. Let's do that first. Uh, we have 42 nails. We would have had probably a few more than that if I hadn't just died, but it's what it is. All right, let's just look around. Let's tap that. Let's tap that twice. Check these foundations. Tap that twice. I'm not uh, fully repairing just because I'll be conservative here for now. We'll tap that one. The door's not bad. This needs another tap or two. What about up high? Yeah, let's give that a tap. That a tap and that a tap. And that's it for our wood. You're in pretty good shape. Okay, that's good enough for now. <coughs> Put you away. Um, how are we doing? Are these done? Oh, they're done finally. Okay, thank goodness. That means we can repair our winter coat now. We might still need that coat. I'm th I think I'm gonna still keep it with me at least throughout March. Probably by you know come April we'll be fine. But uh, okay, so yeah, let's grab this and this. So that gives us 11 cotton. So what do we need to repair this? Three sinew and six thingamadoodles. Okay, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six. That was one too many. Oh, finally. Okay, finally get our winter coat back. Uh, we need to be paying attention to our pantalones, too. Um, those need... Yeah, let's let's just do it. Well, no, let's hold off. There's still... There's still some durability left there. I just I'm trying to stretch things out as bet as long as I possibly can. Oh, okay. So, um, let's put uh, the nails back in there for the for now. We got a lock pick that goes there. Do we have stuff to make a new medi kit? We don't. We need more fish oil. So I guess we're gonna go fishing. Let's grab. Um, what do we need for the tackle? sticks and cordage the one thing i have an abundance of is cordage that's the only thing i have an abundance of well and i guess circuit boards too but yeah so we're a little bit uh low on that let's grab some feathers and make a few arrows too um and yeah we're gonna need to make sticks all right we're out of wood now let's go grab some wood really quick close the damn door you're born in a barn. Ah, man, it's so nice to have our winter coat back on. We're nice and cozy and warm now. All right, let's grab those and queue up. Um, let's see, we got, let's make ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because we already have the two. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to grab, let's see, we got eight, four, one, two, three, four. Let's make a few more arrows, too. Uh, let's see, we go there, here. I don't have enough stuff to make gunpowder, so we'll just leave that the way it is. All right, let's top off the fireplaces. Do I have any fat in here? Yeah, I got a little bit. What about in here? No. We'll grab this out. And, uh, we'll keep... Uh, I'm starting to fertilize this one here and keep it watered because I want that, you know, that cotton. Not putting anything in here yet until we move it to where it's going to be permanently. I don't know, though. I mean, this seems to grow pretty damn good in here. It's not going to get as much light as it will outside, but it's safe. But still, this is not an ideal place for these. And not not unless we upgraded it to grow lights, which I guess we could do. Uh, but still, not not the perma its permanent location. So, all right, what are we doing? We are going fishing. That's what we're doing. So let's put this in here. Do I have... No, I don't have potassium. I'm try I'm not running anything else except for the fridge because I'm trying to get our power back up to get that rifle. 
Ugh, such a pain in the ass, man. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's uh, grab our fishing pole and go down to the lake and do some fishing. And hopefully, we don't get attacked or any other shenanigans happen while we're doing that. There we go. Best fish to catch, largemouth bass. Beautiful. And our final fish of the day, another perch. All right, let's harvest oil. Uh, we'll fillet those guys when we get back to the base. Let's head on back. All right, we have a level one wolf right at our door. Um, I don't have any pistol rounds, do I? All right, well, let's see if we can kill him with the bow. That isn't going to work very well, but that keeps happening. There we go. And he bled us. Okay, could have been worse. Ah, crap, I should have filled up my canteen. That's right, I'm not going back right now. We got to get these fish in the fridge anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead and wash our hands, and then we're going to fillet the bass we get four fillets and four oil and we get two fillets and two oil from each one of the catfish not bad so eight fillets in total and 15 oil i'll take it i will take it uh, oh we got a steak too out of the deal put that in there for now um oh we are like really low on protein like all the way down low on protein so let's take three livers and uh, looks like we're going to need some carbs, too. So how about if we eat a couple tomatoes and maybe eat these rose hips? Also need to drink. Okay, so we now have 16 fish oil in total, and we have one uh, medicinal tonic. Uh, but uh, what I want to do is make... I'm going to turn all of these into medicinal tonics, actually, but let's get the health uh, thing made first. And we have uh, some biofuel for that. Um, oh, yeah, let's grab this one. Okay, we're back in business with that. And then, like I said, I'm going to turn all the rest of these things into... Uh, several medicinal tonics, so we have them available to us. Um, oh, great hunter attack. Alright, you dead. Oh, he moved right when I pulled the trigger. Shit. There's another two more dudes running down there, but they're doing their little weird thingamadoodle. Uh, so let's grab this. Nice. We got a couple shotgun shells. We'll take those. And uh, 
your bag is right here or his bag is and we got some rifle rounds back too okay so at least we got our ammo back and then maybe a little there's three of those guys and they're all derping out down there so let's let them keep derping for now that's not my problem <laughs> that is not my problem man if they're gonna derpity do uh, yeah, we got some damage on that wall. Yeah, let's get these. A couple hits there. A hit there. Um, two hits here and a hit there. How about the foundation? Foundation's good. This wall's in reasonably good shape. Uh, we'll tap that too. Okay, I think we're good. As far as I can tell, the ceilings are okay. I do check them every once in a while because they get, sometimes they get Molotovs up on top of them. We're up to 63 weapons parts. That's great. Okay, let's put that down there. We're going to grab two of these and create a new bandage because we just had to use the other one. And uh, we'll put those in there, those in there. Uh, all of this can go in there. Uh, these can go in here. Bandage goes in this slot. Put the fishing pole in the food crate. Let's grab that fun, uh, that last thing of water. In fact, you know what? We need to we need to drink that last thing of water. Put the blueberries in there. Okay. So here's the deal. Here's the deal, yo. We have, um, yeah, we have a little bit of fat in there. Don't think we have anything going on in there. Oh, we have water. Good. So it is March. Uh, so we are, I believe, in the first day of the new year of our gameplay. Those idiots. Uh, is that a bag? No. So, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up this episode. And, um, I have plants. I have plans for, oh, beautiful, more cotton. What we're going to do with this base as we, you know, progress. And I will, basically, here, here's what we're going to do. Here's the basic idea. I'm going to try and use foundations and set up a wall and block off the three entrances to our little hidden valley here. Um, so up here, down there, and up there. What I'm assuming will happen by doing that is when the hunters come to attack, they'll attack the wall to try and get through it to get to us. Um, but that gives us, a, you know, we basically have two lines of defense then in that case. And then I, I'll make it so that I can get up on the wall and shoot down at them. And we'll see if that works. <coughs> okay. And then my other plan is to raise this wall up three high and then build out a platform ab up above that we can... Uh, put our garden on that we can eventually put windmills and solar panels on so that we can you know start having a uh, an automatic source of power you know over and beyond what this guy just does by itself uh, and then you know I, I'm going to fix up the interior of this place make it look nice put the walls in you know and arrange things maybe ha put it in a, a couple of different rooms that sort of thing and you know put a ceiling in too so it, so it looks like an actual base and not, not like we're living inside of a rock even though we are kind of living inside a rock anyway so that's the plan uh for this coming year god help us <laughs> hope we can make that work all right let's go into let's go to the menu uh, i'm going to do a save game exit to the menu and we're going to adjust our days uh, so let's go to solo game. All right, so we are on 
uh, yeah, we're on the first day of the next year. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to bump this up to 90 days. All right. And that's just going to give us a little more time. Um, do we have to actually start it to make it go into effect? Probably. I'm just going to, that's just going to give us a little more time throughout the year, you know, to prepare again for winter. And, and, um, I, I, I thought 60 days was was a little fast, especially for our first time in this game. Um, so let's try 90 this time and we'll see how things go. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.